this guy finally showed up. What's up? Uh, and this is actually history that Herbs and Rye doesn't know about. We're going to MGM right now, and it's gonna be the sixth poker room I played today. My record is five. So if we make it there and I'm dealt in, that's six. We're gonna make it now. He said we're gonna make it now. He probably couldn't hear because we're next to this dance club where no one's dancing. My first table had something I've seen before even though a lot of people haven't. We had set over set over set, not just that. Top set did not win that hand. Uh, middle set rivered quads. I've actually seen in MGM National Harbor summer 2018, set over set over set and bottom set rivered quads. That wasn't at my table, but I saw a huge pot brewing and I ran over to see what was going on. So that happened. And actually the woman who lost with top set, which turned out to be top boat on the river, the very next hand she lost again second nuts versus nuts. She lost the king high flush to the ace high flush. So not a great day for her. Although she was mad to begin with, so whatever. We're happy she lost. All right, we're going to MGM from uh, Bell. Herbs and Rod was asking me about the uh, MGM free roll tournament I was in. And it's funny, we had 81 people start. As that number is on the board, and like we're about to see the first hand, a guy from another table comes to my table and says, are you guys okay with an even chop? How stupid this guy must be to think he could get 81 people to agree to something. It would be almost impossible to get like 20. Two years ago in Bally's, there was a weekly free roll. And when we got down to like 15 people, and there's only like two or three payouts. It's not like every spot, 15 through one is a different payout. It's like one through nine, get this much. And like 10 through 18, get this much. We were down to like 15 people and talking about a deal. And it was going absolutely nowhere until I stepped in and started orchestrating it. It was still very difficult and took so much time that after we got it done, the floor the next week said, yeah, no more deal making. Just because it was too, compli too complicated. That's how complicated it was with 15. This genius at MGM thought he could get it done with 81. Of course, he asked no one else except our table. So, uh, but just as stupid... One of the guys at uh, our table, because I got in with the minimum amount of chips, one guy at our table said, oh, well, there's no way I'm doing an even chop because I have more chips than some people. He played the minimum hours necessary to get the maximum amount of chips. That is such a stupid way of thinking. Like, he wanted everyone with, like, 30,000 chips to get three times what everyone with 10,000 chips was getting, and there were some people with 20,000 chips in there I've been in that situation with more chips than everyone else, you know, tied for first in a free roll, and I am so willing to chop to just take the money and not have to waste time just waiting for the blinds to go up and shove. Just get the money and go find a good cash game. But no, this guy, this guy thought, uh, it's also funny, and Herbs and Rye is hearing all this for the first time, it's also funny that his reason was he put in more time than everyone else. He didn't, it's funny, because our table, I was the only one who didn't have the maximum amount of chips. Everyone else had 30,000, I had 10,000. And this guy's reason for not taking a deal, not that it was gonna happen 81 ways, was that he put in more time than everyone else. He didn't put in more time than me, I guarantee you, over those three weeks, I played more hours than he did. He just happened to play 100% of his at MGM, and I split them up over like nine casinos. So, a lot of uh, not that bright people in the MGM thing. And that guy, by the way, got crippled very early, of course. I doubled up very early, of course. Who cares how many chips you started with? And uh, that was it. So I was just explaining some of the free roll things to Herbs and Rye. Any questions? I wouldn't chop either. All right, he's just saying that to uh, instigate, although uh, he does actually play tournaments. I'm sure that guy who was very anti-chopping plays like one tournament a year. Herbs and Rye actually plays them. So we're turning into MGM, and after this, I'm parked at Excalibur. Um, Herbs and Rye is going to drop me off, and we're going to see if we can find some stray cats because this guy's obsessed with uh, wrangling stray cats. It sounded like it. All right, this is history. Sixth room in one day. Never done this before. And Herbs and Rye gets to witness it. Herbs and Rye is too slow getting out of the car. We're done playing at MGM. I played 11 hours, 21 minutes, made $155. We're in row one Q of Excalibur looking for stray cats. I just saw one. Herbs and Rye was slow getting out of the car. He didn't even see it. It was just at the end of the aisle. 
So he says he could wrangle like any animal. So let's see. It was like right there at the end of the aisle. There it is. There's a bowl like just over to the right, a food bowl that people have, uh, it's getting away. You're scaring him, man. He's running away from you. Well, he's running right to the food bowl. It's right behind that tarp. Scared. It's my fault? Yeah. He was coming to me and then No he wasn't. He wasn't in the least. It was literally walking right towards me. It was walking away. You got all happy with the camera. First of first of all, for every one you see, there's probably twenty five you don't see. So go find another one. It's over. It's over. This is the highlight of Herbs and Rise life. It's four twenty two AM Saturday. My flight leaves in like four and a half hours and we're here looking for stray cats. This this is living. I mean, I also enjoyed stacking that guy after he bluffed Oh yeah, Herbs and Rye really wants me to tell everyone that there was a guy. Let me turn this around. We sat at a table that was breaking firsthand. Herbs and Rye three bet a guy, ended up making trip queens on the river. The guy bet 115, Herbs and Rye made it 310. The guy shoved, well, like 900. Yeah. Um, Herbs and Rye folded trip queens and the guy showed a busted six high flush draw. We broke like two hands later. Uh, all three of us ended at the same table. And then Herbs and Rye stacked them. Even though there, were a f there was a flush possible, three hearts hit the board. Herbs and Rye had a straight. The guy claimed he had two pair. Makes sense. But Herbs and Rye, uh, what was the total pot? What'd you have when it was over? I had uh, 3,400. 3,400, so there was probably a little dead money, but pretty much like 1,600 effective. 1625 effective or something uh, the guy lost it all back so herbs and rye really wanted me to mention that the cats often come in from over here you know it's a little it's a little early they're probably sleeping wherever they sleep i see him hop over this uh low cinder block wall and then this is row one q a lot of stray cats here and behind that tarp um there's a, a bunch of food bowls. If you like, were very close and like looking at the ground, you could see just on the other side of the fence, the food bowls. I don't know how much food is in there, but people have made, have put bowls over there for you the cats. I wanted to interview if you didn't scare it away. Yeah, it, it was only walking away from Herbs and Rye. I put Herbs and Rye on the list at Bellagio as H N R, classic me. Oh, uh, but that's about it for this uh, Herbs and Rye portion of the series. Oh, there's another one. You see it? It walked right, it came out from the gate and walked right behind that Honda. Here it is. What's up, cat? I wouldn't be drinking those beer bottles. I mean, it's Miller Lite, so it's basically water, but I still wouldn't be drinking it if I were a cat. Oh, he got scared and ran off. He is fast and he is near the motorcycle now. See how fast that thing was running away from you? It was I, terrified of you. I just said, I was just commenting on the cat's speed. I mean, you're not catching one, you're sitting in a car. You're gonna, you're gonna like do a Dick Cheney and drive up in a vehicle and try to catch it? I have a fucking net. <laughs> yeah, he claims he has a net. I don't think you could hear him. But that's it for this uh, portion of this series. Next portion will be the travel. I gotta get to the airport. I gotta travel to Denver. I gotta sleep at some point, hopefully on the plane. I hear Frontier is very spacious, so I should fall asleep on the plane. And uh, then things in Denver. So I'll see everyone later.